Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I wasn't going to do a, a live today, a MTO Monday, but I woke up and I read this crazy collection of stories in my Apple News feed, and it it was all about resolutions and different things that you can do in the new year that will help make you happier. And I thought it was so interesting because I've been working so hard on putting together a new version of the Streamline Your Life uh, program that's happening in February, and it's going to be launched uh, later this week. And so I wanted to give you guys a heads up. You can head over to morethanorganized.net slash workshops and get on the wait list over there. I'll include it in the link as well, I mean in the comments. But I also wanted you to know that all the things that were covered in this collection of stories is dealt with in the Streamline Your Life. It's part of the connections, the Streamline Connection, in terms of leveraging your time by working on one thing that'll help multiple areas of your life at one point. So just a quick synopsis of what occurred to me as I was reading these stories. One was about relationships, one was about identity, one was about money, and one was about challenge and being open-minded and um, learning new things to help us live longer and be more happy in our day-to-day -day lives. And so all of those things are exactly what I teach, right? Let's control what we can control. Let's stay open and change and challenge our brains in certain ways that make it um, less anxious for you. Um, as you build the muscle of, of adapting to change and, and not staying stuck. Um, it's all about your relationship with stuff, which is the same way you do money and the same way you do relationships. And so it can really reveal um, a lot of what you might have been struggling with or avoiding all these years in terms of your feelings or your um, and connecting to your identity. Like who and how do you actually want to be? How do you make that happen? Sometimes we think about it and then we don't do, take any action. So we're talking about aligning your actual environment and your actions with who you believe you are. Um, and that will automatically make you happier. And guess what? When you are happier, when you are more satisfied at the end of your days, you actually end up with less clutter and more satisfaction at the end of the day. And so it improves your anxiety and your depression and it helps you feel more empowered and powerful. So I hope you can check it out um, and let me know in the comments what your resolutions are this year. Um, I'm simplifying everything, I know. I'm a simplicity expert and I'm already fairly simple, but sometimes I start trying out new things just to see if it'll benefit my clients and it gets away from me a little bit, which is what happened last year. So we're clearing the decks again and going back to the super simple um, systems that have worked for me for years and taken off all the extra bells and whistles that didn't really pan out. So it's constant, it's ongoing, um, and I really hope you can uh, join me. Uh, it's more fun as with a group when we're all working on it together. And just so you know, this year I'm going to use the time of the class to actually work on my own stuff as well. So I will be organizing right along with you, decluttering my whole house, setting up systems. Um, and I think that's really fun. Um, yeah, I think it's a really easy way to challenge yourself as well. If you're one of those people that pick organizing or getting organized, finally getting organized, once and for all, taking care of all that stuff on your to-do list, this is gonna be a fun year to hang out with me because we're gonna do it all and when we do it together, um, it's super fun. Um, and for those of you that really like it pretty and product oriented, I am, I'm not saying I agree with containerizing everything, but I will be sharing some more product recommendations than I have in the past and um, ways of looking at, at how we can approach the new year and make sure you get more organized and have a more satisfying year. And stick to the resolutions you did make. It's all connected. The money, the habits, the beliefs, the actions, the relationship with your stuff. All right, 
hope you can join me again. I will put the link to the workshop page so you can get either register or get on the wait list if it hasn't quite opened yet, which will be later this week. All right. Thanks for dropping by. Have a happy, happy new year. 2024 can't be any worse than 2023 and we survived that. So let's keep going and make it a much better year. Um, I'll see you next week for the actual More Than Organized Monday. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.